I'm Kid Catholic. You guys are the Saints in Training, and this is Season 4, Episode 4. And guys, this topic is uh, the q and I've wanted to do this for a long time, and we finally got your guys' questions, so thank you so much for asking these, and let's get into it. So the first question is, are there things that made you successful that other parents can do with their kids? And really, I think what made me so interested in my faith was... A big part of it was knowing the why. Like, why do we do this? Why do we do that? Like, my mom, instead of just telling me, You're, we're going to go up and receive communion, and that's Jesus, she told me why, how that was Jesus, why we're going to receive communion. And when I got to know the why, I got a lot more interested because I knew that it all made logical sense. The more you know the why, the more sense the Catholic Church makes. And I think also involving God in your everyday lives, praying together. And when I was going through a rough time, my mom, uh, she would say, did you pray about it? And I think having God active throughout my daily life, um, that was a big reason of why I got so interested in Catholicism. The next question is, what is it like being an altar boy and how long have you been an altar boy? So I've been an altar boy for coming up on about four years now. And what it's like being an altar boy, I don't really know how to explain this because I've been serving every week for about four years. And so to me, it's kind of gotten normal. But it's very, very cool because I know that I'm serving God and that I'm being involved in the Mass and that I am helping with the consecration. I am helping with a miracle. I'm bringing the water, the wine up to the altar. I'm helping with the miracle of changing the bread into the body and the wine into the blood. And just knowing that is extraordinarily awesome. How old are you? Now, I am 12 and I am turning 13 uh, in a few months, June 27th. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I got like four or five questions uh, of this. And right now, my plan is to go to college. Uh, major in communications, continue doing YouTube, what I am right now, continue all of that, and then get a master's in theology and a PhD in theology, and then go on to speaking similar to Tim Staples, Edward Cerise, some incredible speakers um, who go on tour speaking and leading pilgrimages. Um, that's what I want to do while continuing YouTube. What got you interested in making YouTube videos? Now, this one is a funny story because my best friend, his name is TJ, and he actually had YouTube. He didn't really create videos on it, but he loved watching it. And so he told me and my brother about it, and we were like, let's get one set up. But I was, me and my brother both, we were watching them, and we thought, um, I don't want to watch, I want to create. And now my brother is on to doing dance, so he doesn't um, really create videos. But I wanted to create. I didn't want to watch. I wanted to create. And so I started out with something that I was very, very into, a sports channel. And uh, I was doing that for about a week. And it wasn't going very well. And, of course, there were already so many sports channels out there. And all my friends were doing gaming channels. I wanted to do something different. And I wanted to do something that mattered. So I sat down and I, um, me and my brother came up with the name, Kid Catholic. And it just took off from there. And so what got me interested in making YouTube videos was my friend um, who told me about YouTube. And then watching other creators thinking that's what I want to do. I don't want to watch. I want to create. Do you have any plans on becoming a priest? Now, I told you guys what my plan is as of right now. But um, I'm open to the call. And if God calls me to be a priest, then I have no problem listening to that call. Who is your favorite saint? Um, there are so many great saints out there, and so this is very hard for me to pick, but my favorite saint has to be Saint Isidore of Seville. I'm not going to get too much into his story because he actually was the saint of the week um, a few weeks ago, and he's also my confirmation saint. Um, so I really like his story because he is the patron saint of the internet, which is what I am doing now, um, and he was able to evangelize all over the world before you could with the internet. And so that's why I like him so much. And he is my favorite saint. What do you think about the Divine Mercy Chaplet? I think the Divine Mercy Chaplet is great. Obviously, there's so many uh, devotions that you can do on your own. I think any devotion uh, that you can do out of your own will is great. Are you planning on being a theologian like your mom? Now, when me and my mom were reading through these questions, her instant reaction when she read this question was, 
I didn't know I was a theologian, but I'll take it. So uh, if that tells you what she thinks about it, but uh, I do hope to become a theologian someday, yes. What about your brothers? Are they interested in all things Catholic like you are? Now, in case you didn't know, I have two brothers. I have a younger brother who has been in two videos, I think, and I have a twin brother who is in one of the very first videos of Kid Catholic. He helped me come up with a name and stuff. And so let me start with my younger brother. My younger brother is very into Catholicism like I am. However, he is six, so he can't really use the internet and stuff. And I don't think uh, evangelizing is what he's called do. Um, he loves soccer. He loves sports. And so um, he has dreamed of being an athlete someday. So he is, he loves Catholicism as much as me, but he doesn't use Catholicism the way I do because that's not the way I do because that's not what he's called to do and my twin brother uh he is a dancer he is very big into dance he actually won his last competition so I'm very proud of him he did absolutely amazing and of course he loves Catholicism we were raised in the same family we were together all the time he loves Catholicism equally as much as me but again like my younger brother he's not called to evangelize like I am He's called to be a dancer, and my younger brother is called to be an athlete. So even though they love Catholicism equally as much as me, and maybe even more, um, it doesn't mean that they are called to evangelize like I am. Have you ever visited the Vatican or plan to visit? Okay, so this one got me very excited because I did announce to you guys that I will be going to the Holy Land. I did announce that I will be going uh, in September, um, but I am going to Rome as well. I'm going to the Vatican. Um, I'm going to the Vatican this year, and I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna get to see the Pope, um, and I, I can't wait. I am going to vlog it, so you guys are gonna see it with me. It is going to be so much fun. Uh, I am very excited to go. Do you have any thoughts on the traditional Latin Mass and the Church's traditions? Um, I'm not gonna get too much into this, but uh, I do think the church's traditions are great. I think the Latin Mass is great, and I think the current Mass is great. Um, I have done an episode on Vatican II, which changed the traditional Mass to the Mass that it is now. If you wanna go check that out, the link to that will be in the description. And I did a video on Christmas traditions, which is uh, very similar to Catholic traditions. So if you wanna check that out, the link to that will be in the description as well. What do you think about the current situation and crisis of the church? There's a crisis of the church. I mean, it's still apostolic su succession, so I think everything is great. It's still Jesus, he's still there. To me, there's not a crisis. When someone enters a sanctuary where the Blessed Eucharist is present, when they kneel on the ground, do you bow all the way to the floor, or does a person just bow partly? Now, there is no written rule on this. They don't say you have to bow all the way or you have to bow partly. It's honestly um, up to the person, whatever they, um, want to do there's not even a uh, rule that says you have to kneel all the way to the ground you can just genuflect if you wish it's really up to the person and there is no written rule and the final question i thought we this would be a great question to end it off why the mullet um in case you guys haven't been able to tell i have grown a mullet i have a mullet and uh why i wanted to get a mullet was because my favorite uh team the coach, Mike Gundy, uh, has a mullet. And I thought it looked awesome and I want to do the same. And so I decided to grow a mullet. And I love my mullet. I think it looks great. Um, so the mullet is because of him. And I've had the mullet for a few weeks now and I look to have it even longer as well. So those are all the questions for this episode. Thank you guys so much for asking. And do you guys know what it's time for now? It's time for the Saint of the Week! Back at the Saint Sofa, and today's Saint of the Week is Saint Catherine of Alexandria. Now, Saint Catherine of Alexandria had an absolutely incredible story. She was not a cradle Catholic. When she was 14, she had a vision of Mary and Jesus, and so she decided decided to convert to Christianity at age 14. Now, after she converted, she uh, went to the emperor nearby who was persecuting Christians, and she confronted him, which was very brave, by the way. He could have executed her at will, but instead of executing her, what he did was he hired 50 brilliant people to debate her on Christianity, and get this, 
she out debated all of them. These 50 people, they were they, they were smart. And at the time, not much was expected of from a girl. And she did that. That was absolutely incredible. In fact, she debated so well that some people who were listening to the debate actually converted into Christianity. After that, she was imprisoned by the emperor. And he was going to execute her on a spinning wheel with um, spikes on it. But get this. When she touched the wheel, it shattered. Th that's incredible! She touched the wheel and it shattered. And, and then, um, he could not, um, persecute her via torturing her, because it wasn't working. And so, he finally had her beheaded, and she was an incredible martyr. Isn't that an incredible story? She was wise enough to out-debate all those people. And at that time, not much was expected of a, of a girl. Again, she was a girl. They didn't expect her to do that. They expected her to get absolutely defeated, but she debated that well. People converted listening to those debates, and then they couldn't even torture her. To, they could not torture her to death, and these people knew how to do their jobs. They were good at executing, and she just touched the wheel and it shattered. Imagine how shocked the emperor was. She was later beheaded. And she remained strong as a martyr. And she is a great saint to look at for wisdom, for courage. Because the wisdom to out-debate all those people is incredible. The courage in order to go and confront the emperor. The courage to do that who was persecuting Christians. The emperor did not come find her. She found the emperor. And the courage to remain strong when you get martyred. All martyrs are courageous. But she... She was extraordinarily courageous to go and confront him like that. She knew confronting him would get her killed. She did not care. She did it for Jesus. And again, like I said last week, we probably won't be in the same situation as her. But again, we will be in situations where our faith will be tested. And we need to try our best, just like she did, to remain strong and to defend the faith. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys also for 1.4 thousand subscribers. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for that. If you're new, um, and if you're a new saint in training, um, a new video is uploaded each Tuesday. And guys, don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below and the bell next to it. That way you get notified when I come out with a new video. Please share this video with friends, share this channel with friends. Also comment any topic suggestions or saint of the weeks suggestions. Also follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. To the link to all three of those will be in the description and the comments. And check out my website, kid-catholic.com. The link to that will be in the description and in the comments as well. That was Kid Catholic Season 4, Episode 4. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hi, Brielle!